Welcome to Autel's Using Your DS708 Automotive Diagnostic System Tutorial. Today we're going to have a general overview of the tool, as well as get started using your DS708. Let's start by taking a look at the items included in the kit. Your kit should have the DS708 device, OBD2 cable, the user's manual, an OBD2 connector, power adapters, Ethernet cable, an SD card, an SD card reader, as well as the following manufacturer specific adapters used to fully diagnose all of the vehicle makes covered from 1996 and on. BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Chrysler, Toyota, Mazda, Mitsubishi Hyundai, Honda, Nissan, GM Daewoo, Kia, Audi Volkswagen, and Fiat. If you have any troubleshooting concerns, remember, you can always contact us at 1-855-AUTEL-US or at 631-923-2620 during regular business hours, where one of our expert technicians would be glad to assist you. Now let's get started. Each DS708 is equipped with an SD memory card, which contains the essential software for your tool. Due to periodic updates, it is possible that your card may not have the latest software version. We'll cover software updates later in this series. Insert the SD memory card into the bottom slot of the DS708. Attach the adapter cable to the top of the tool. And connect the OBD2 connector at the opposite end of the cable. Now connect the tool to the car's OBD2 port. Your kit also includes a power adapter that allows you to turn on the tool without having to connect to a vehicle. A red LED light at the bottom right hand corner will indicate if power is running to the device. Press and release the power button on top of the tool to turn it on. The LED light will turn green and the device will start up. A dialog box will open prompting you to register. Wait 30 seconds for the screen to disappear and have access to your device functions. Let's first take a look at the setup help menu. The touch icon allows you to calibrate your screen. Click on it and tap the crosshairs with your pen tool as accurately as possible in order to have a more functional experience when interacting with your tool. The first icon on the left is the Wi-Fi configuration. Click on it and you'll go directly to the WLAN settings where you'll be able to log on to your wireless network. Delete any networks already listed in the preferred networks box by pressing on the network until a small option box opens and hit delete. After you've deleted these networks, select the network of your choice in the Active Networks box. If you're using a secured network, you'll be prompted for a password. Simply type the password on the keyboard provided and hit OK. Look at the bottom LED light next to the wireless symbol. If it is green and the icon next to the Internet Explorer icon at the top right of the screen is green as well, you're connected to the Internet. The following icon is the unit option. This allows you to set your tool to either metric units of measurement or U.S. standard system of measurement. Calendar and clock icon lets you select the date and time preferences. Next it is to the language preferences, which allows you to choose from eight different languages to be set to your tool. Please contact your regional technical support office before making any changes to your language preferences. The backlight configuration allows you to adjust the brightness of the tool's screen. The sound icon allows you to turn on or off the beeping sound the DS708 produces after every click. The remote desk icon allows you to network the tool with a separate computer, but we'll go further into that later in the tutorial. The final icon is the About button. This will display all the information necessary to complete registration. Select the About button and a screen will appear with the following information. Software version, OS version, hardware, product serial number, and registration password. Take note of this information since you may be asked about the software version, the OS version, and the serial number when contacting technical support. Also, to register the tool, you will need the serial number and password which will allow you to access important software updates. 
The following step would be to register the DS708. There are two methods of completing registration. The first is logging on to the MaxiDOS registration page through a personal computer. The second method would be using the MaxiDOS registration wizard directly through your tool. Connect the Ethernet cable to an internet source and then connect to your DS708. Start up your DS708 and the pop-up dialog should open automatically. Hit register and activate the registration wizard. Click next and you will be directed to the registration webpage. Please read carefully all the registration information. After you have finished, exit out of the registration webpage and click complete on the registration wizard. And power down your device by hitting power off at the bottom left hand corner. Your device should be completely registered upon startup. As mentioned earlier, you can always register through your personal computer if you do not have the means of connecting your DS708 to the internet. Go to www.maxidos.com, select register and read the registration information page. Select agree. Using the information from the about screen on your tool, enter the serial number and password. Select next. Enter all of the required information on the following page and click Submit. The user will now have access to free updates for one full year. On the next tutorial, we will be looking at updating the DS708. Autel, tomorrow's technology for today's technicians.